So it's like midday out here. It is uh, quarter till five in the afternoon. I'm looking at the shadows. If I don't, I mean, I'm barely hidden behind the top of the tree over here. The uh, weather is amazing today. It's one of those really beautiful weather days. It's like, I don't know, 82 or 83 degrees, something like that, but it's low humidity and breeze is blowing a little too, a little harder than I would like, but you know, what are you, you going to do? But uh, actually getting out a little early today, waiting for my ride. Uh, don't want to hold them up. Uh, last night I was here till 8.45 or so p.m., so <laughs> I don't feel too bad walking out a few minutes early today. <clears throat> Just out for a little stroll. Now, i got to be careful cutting through here. Something I have not noticed people doing is cutting through here. But there are no, no trespassing signs, nor are there any locked fences. I'm trying to get an idea how many cars they've been adding. They're certainly not taking any of them away. I don't think I've seen but one disappear since they started putting them here. There's that Mercedes. I don't know. There's a blowout for the house that was supposed to be here. They were supposed to build a house there a million years ago, never did. Since it's brand new, wood had even changed color. And it looks like it's about to fall over again. It already fell over once. Oh well. Could be worse. Could be a bar. So, so I forgot about this. My wife does uh, the soccer coaching thing every year and uh, Ellie's in the soccer league and uh, she does the shirts. <laughs> I don't even think, I don't even think it's all of them. It's just, yeah, so they have to go sorting through shirts and stuff. Well, I wanted to come out here and shoot a little video, and now my little area is taken up, so I'm going to think of something else. Okay, I don't know if my head's in the shot or not. I bought, I'm a flashlight freak, okay? I really dig having flashlights. I like all different kinds of flashlights, but this video, if I can get my holster off here, <laughs> is about this. Not this, this. My flashlight came with a holster that was terrible. It's got this lovely indestructible steel bezel in here. If the nuclear bomb went off, that bezel would be the only thing left. It also even has sharp edges on the back. It has these little rings, and I guess it's to protect the switch from keep, keep the switch from coming on. I use it to hold on to a boot lace, which I've got on here like a lanyard. And uh, I like to be able to put it around my neck when I want to. So what in the world happened here? Well, I bet I can't get the piece out. You notice that it has a snap here. It's jammed in there too much. I can't get it out. Well, if you look closely, it's all screwed up right here. And that is because these aluminum bits, this is aluminum, is sharp enough that it actually eventually, after about a year and a half, gouged out a hole where it was hitting the bottom of this thing. So I was taking this, bunching it up, and ramrodding it, muzzle loader style, down, down the chute here, trying to get it to not hit in the same spot. So what I did is I cut the flap off, which was useless because this is entirely too long. The light is entirely too long for this, this holder. Now it's covered in spider webs. <sighs> that quick, and it just got covered in spider webs. It's like ankle deep in spider webs right here. So this is pretty thick material, nylon type material, and this cheap uh, Chinese utility blade cut through it like a laser beam. It's like a lightsaber. Just whoosh, whoosh, cut it off completely. So I guess it doesn't really matter how thick this stuff is. It just it's, it's not meant to stop it from tearing through. So what do I do now? What I have to do, I, I took the top piece off of here and it was beveled a little bit, so I crammed it in here. Now it's in there to the point I can't get it out again to show you. <clears throat> take the light, cram it in here, and make sure it goes past the past the end. So now the bottom of the light's actually hitting in a different spot, but the piece I cut off here is now all folded up in the bottom of this thing, and it ain't coming out. Now, 
that doesn't really hold on to it all that well but once I take this lanyard and just cram it in here make sure everything's down at the bottom it actually holds on to it really well and there's a lot of friction at that point <coughs> enough to make it difficult to pull out now what's scary about this normally the part of these that fail is not the bottom down here it's the clip but this thing has a very stout clip on it and it's all double stitch it's all double layered uh, canvas I guess canvas nylon canvas over top of it and it's it's built great uh, the only problem is it doesn't fit any of the flashlights that I've had none no flashlight fits this thing I bought this Academy a million years ago I've been looking for a decent flashlight holster but they they're all just made of nylon I even tried to use a magazine carrier that I bought at a tactical place and it had it had the same issue where the the nylon just all got torn it was a lot thinner so we're gonna see I and mean, that's a pretty expensive light so I really don't want to lose it but uh, we'll see how it goes. I may have to come up with some way of actually putting, uh, some, uh, putting a uh, flap over this thing. I got some loose bit here and a snap, so I could rig something up, I'm sure. Just bolt it on here. I'm thinking zip ties. Uh, that would that would go along with my motif of you know not caring what I, not caring what things look like, but it stays on real well. I just hope that it holds on real well. <coughs> oh well. Wish me luck.